Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here. Welcome back to another episode of Banished here in the town of Xanadu. Hey look, there he goes. Where we have just started to gather ourselves resources from a new part of the world. Reaching over here, there is a vast array of untouched stone and iron which we are hopefully going to be able to mine to our heart's content. The one concern here is if we start overreaching the distance at which we can safely go, our people might have to start having food problems, which would not be good. So hopefully it doesn't wind up being an issue with our new plan. Also, our food consumption is dangerously high, given that we just boosted our population. We have a lot more farms to work, but they're not producing yet. So we might need to do some trading here to make sure we don't starve before it gets to a point where we can actually harvest. So we're going to bring over 160 no, coats and 60 tools. And we'll sell those in exchange for food to make sure we don't starve. I might even try and bring some herbs over if he'll trade for those. Those would even be better, I think, because we have a lot of herbs and we don't need that many. If I tell him to bring those over, will he trade for us? Yes, he will. Perfect. We'll use these to buy food then, because that'll be very good. Perfect. Okay. So now we set this back to go again, and we should be fine. We are very low on food, though, which is kind of scary. Being that low is never something you really want to see. Okay. Okay. We have a nice influx here from our fishing and whatnot, so we shouldn't be too worried yet. These guys are making it back to their homes before they starve, which is perfect. There's a lot of mining action going on way over here. A lot of stones to gather. I haven't told them to gather the iron yet, because we have a lot of iron, not a lot of stone. And we need the stone to be able to build the buildings over here, to build extend, or rather to extend our housing. Build the buildings, he says. Yes, obviously. Alright, well... Let's come back here and check up on our trader. Can I actually get these from you yet? Not yet, but we'll get some food. I'll trade you the tools in exchange for some peppers and some plums and some chestnuts. There we go, and I'll trade you that. Come in here and tell them to stop bringing more tools. We can't afford them. Where's the tools? There it is. No more tools. No more tools required. And... Did you bring anything else? You brought some coats. Good. Well, coats are super valuable, so we can get a lot traded for that. We'll make sure we speed it up a little bit. Let's put some more people to work in the trader temporarily and see if that helps get stuff quicker. I think that's what the trader does, is they gather the resources in that they need in order to do the trades. Well, I'm not seeing much changing here, so we're going to trade what coats we've got for some more food. Let's get some eggs. No, eggs are expensive. Let's get some fish, and some mushrooms, some walnuts, and a bit of wheat, and that'll do it. Trade. Hopefully we get some more jackets and whatnot over there. We'll reduce that down to 40 more jackets. I don't want to get rid of too many of them. Here we go. We need more food, though, so this should help us not die. People are still gathering resources here. Some of them are getting hungry. Hopefully he makes it back to a place he can get food. There's a lot of food on the way. If he waits till he goes home, he might be in trouble. Oh, he made it. Okay. Okay, we're good so far. People are doing okay. They're getting a bit hungry on the long walks, but so far no one's died yet, which is basically what we're counting on. Because the stone gets further and further away, and if people keep trying to go get it all, it's going to get harder and harder for them to make it back home safely. I might have to stop them from getting any more. We only have 114 more, though, which is not exactly what I was hoping for. Is our church able to deal with the exceptional population yet? No. We're tapped out at 200 members. Hmm. Well, I think that just means that some of our population doesn't get the happiness boosting effects, but still, that's not great. Can we trade more coats? We have not brought enough stuff there yet. You silly people. Well, here he goes. Alright, well, we missed the opportunity to buy more food, which is unfortunate, but we're going to leave the... Oh, really? They just got there. Ugh. All right, well, let's remove the coats for now. We don't need those there, but we can leave the herbs because if we can trade them, we don't need all this stockpile spare that we had anyway. Look at those cute little pumpkins. These ones did not get farmed properly. Neither did those ones. Or that. Wow, that's a really bad yield so far. Well, hopefully this doesn't wind up coming back to bite us. I should be able to get a good amount of food out of them and not die. But we'll have to wait and see. So! Those are actually... This is late summer. Wow, that's not a great yield. I'll have to move things around a little bit later. Overall, though, we're looking pretty good. Speed things up a little bit more. We need to get more stone in. We need to build more houses, and then we need to start building quarries and mines. Once we can do that, we should be basically okay. 
if our population can handle the food intake and the extra workers we need to be able to use, then we should be laughing. Look at all that iron. A ton of iron. Alright, well... I think we are going to build ourselves a blacksmith over here, so let's grab that. That is in here, yes. Blacksmith. Because we're going to need tools once we start getting our our mines working. So we'll get that going. Denneth has died, the herbalist, unfortunately. But we have plenty of people to replace him, so we won't uh, we have too much of a loss here. Hopefully this food is enough. We'll see what happens as they gather it in. This should be a pretty nice big buff to our food levels, but we'll see if that lasts us until the next harvest. I'm kind of questioning whether it will. It is a lot of people we're accommodating now, and I've never had to deal with this many before. We're building more houses, because we're insane, which is just going to exacerbate the problem and make it even worse. Alright, I might need to stop gathering more stone. These people are starting to get hungrier and hungrier before they can make it back home again. Yeah, okay, we're going to stop them gathering more stone, otherwise they are going to start dying soon. There's still a lot of stone out there, but we can't reach it still. We got more of it, but not all of it. There we go, that'll do. So, we can get more iron from there later, but at least we got a good amount of stone to buff, buff us up here. We'll be able to use that to build these buildings, and then we'll hopefully be able to build our quarries and start really producing more resources. Quarry, I think, is our per our first goal, because without that, we can't build any more homes. Oh, look, you guys left so much food on the vine. It's awful. And somebody died of starvation. Good thing I canceled that now before it got any worse. That was a farmer who died of starvation, which is weird. Kind of surprised that a farmer would die of starvation when they work with our food production, but whatever. All right, let's come in here and change up what we're growing. So let's try and do a different kind of pattern this time. Let's do this one, pumpkin, pumpkin. And we'll do squash, 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 good. And we'll do wheat in the middle, good. This one can be wheat, and that one can be wheat. And then we'll do pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. And we'll do squash, and squash, perfect. That should be a nice little pattern. And, in the meantime, let us move onwards. Whew, there's a lot of stuff going on right here. Our, our town is developing in a bunch of different ways, which I think is good. There's another trader coming in. Let's see what he wants to trade with us. Let's see if he'll accept we uh, herbs as well. He will, we'll probably trade some of those. What does he have? He will accept herbs. He does have food. He has a variety of foods. A variety of all kinds of things. Holy cow. Warm coats, peaches, roots. Let's get some peaches. We'll trade him all of these herbs for food. Right now, I think that's our highest priority because we don't actually have an entirely stable food source yet. So, let's get some more roots and some more of those and some more... Those are all one cost, right? Yes. Some more chestnuts and pecans. Good. What else can we get? Eggs are more expensive, so we'll just get more of the things we've already got here. Peaches, roots, chestnuts, and pecans. Not necessarily in that order. Good. Perfect trade. Done. Inventory. Do not bring any more herbs over here. We don't need them. We actually, well, we'll bring some over. Don't need that many, though. And we no longer need six people working here. I'll go back down to one worker. I don't think that actually helped us at all. So, there we go. That gives us some more food to make sure we don't starve to death. Because we're definitely using up our food really quickly. And I'm not sure we're actually accommodating our, our need enough with these farms. Which is bad. Very bad indeed. Alright, let's get ourselves another blacksmith working in here. There we go. He'll keep giving us more tools which we can use to trade as well. Once our, uh, our pastures here cap out, they're... Wow, we have a lot of cows. Very few sheep though. That's not good. We want the sheep to grow quicker. But uh, we have a lot of cows, which will start giving us a good amount of uh, beef every year, which is good too. You get about like 200 beef per dead cow, which is quite nice. If you have a big pasture of cows, you can get a lot all the time and swap them out. It gives us like a couple hundred uh, meat, which is great, given that it only takes two workers. The, uh, the return there is really nice once you get them up to a maximum age. All right. Overall, though, we're looking pretty good here. We're looking pretty good. 
church is still full, but that's fine. We have a lot of room in that cemetery still. We're going to worry about building a new one. All right, well, overall, our production has stopped, so I'm going to slow us down for a minute until I decide what I want to build next. I kind of want to start building mines over here. I was originally going to build them in this space, but then we built the, uh, the little gathering community over there instead, which is still good. We still need to have that. It gives us access to wood more regularly as well, gives us access to all that good stuff. But uh, primarily now, we're going to start needing stone from other sources. So, quarries, I think, are what we're going to be building next. I think that is our highest priority right now. Is there anything else we want to build for these other little societies? We need a well. That's something we definitely need. So I'll put a well here. There we go. And I'll put another one over here. I'm going to put a couple wells in, maybe. They're expensive resource-wise, but I think they might be pretty crucial to having your population not die horribly if there's a fire. I don't want to build any more right now, though. All right, that'll do. We'll put... I'm going to cancel one of those wells. You don't need two. I'll leave this one in, I think, for now. No. Eh, it doesn't really matter. We don't want to have two of them, though. I don't think we can afford to put that, re that, that amount of stone into something like this as of yet. Just putting a well there will let us deal with fires here if they come up. So that should be fine. Lots of children being born. We have, like, 68 kids, which is crazy. I think we're going to start going in for the mines, though, so let's do it. First thing is a quarry that we're going to build, and it's a big thing. I think we're going to build our quarries close to the bridge over here. That actually is a pretty good spot. Actually, here's another question. Can I build a fishing hut on this promontory here? If I could, that would be super convenient. Can I build one there? That might be a good spot. I could, I think. Right there. Yeah. I could build a fishing dock there. I don't know how good a spot that is, but it looks not bad. Like, I can build them there, too. It's got a pretty decent exposure to water, and it's potentially a good spot. And I might build one of those later. For now, though, we're going to build quarries. So, back on task here. Back on task. Quarry. Quarry. There we go. Rotate it around. And you can go down there, I think. Can I build one on the other side if I build one there? Yes, perfect. That is one of our key concerns. Can I build more of them later? So a quarry is going to go down there. That takes wood and iron to be able to build it. It takes wood and stone to make a mine. So that shouldn't be too bad. We have plenty of iron. But... Those things take a lot of workers, so once we get it finished, it's going to take a lot of our population. And working in the quarries and the mines is very hazardous. A lot of people die working in those places, so that's a problem we're going to have to, uh, to take as it comes, because it's not something we're going to be able to just magically avoid having happen. They're just very dangerous places to work. I want to build another church, too, but we really don't have the stone for that right now. Maybe I'll build one over here anyway. Let's see, and then I can build like a cemetery over here and not feel bad about it. Um, yeah. Hmm. Well, how much does it take us to build another church? Another church costs us 130 stone, which is crazy big. And our population is only like, just too big for the current church, so I'm not sure if I really want this yet. But it does mean that it boosts our population's happiness, which is a good thing to do, I think. We'll build it here, across from the school and from our new blacksmith. There we go. That'll be just fine. I'm sure our population will like that. And that'll be good. I want to build more houses, but we really don't have the resources for that yet either, or the ability to sustain it with food. I just always want to build more houses. You just gotta. Our primary task right now, though, is getting this thing built. We need this quarry. And it looks like people are doing a pretty good job of getting it built, which is good. Otherwise, it'll take a long time. Alright, let's go up to seven builders so we can build faster. I think we're going to build that fishing hut, too. We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure how productive it'll be over here, but we are going to build, like, a stockpile and stuff nearby, so it might be good. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. And you go right there. 
fishing dock. Perfect. So, we're going to need to build a road from there to actually connect back to our civilization, so let's do that as well. A road from the bridge over this way. We'll build a straight long one. Will we? I kind of don't want to, yeah. thing is, I want to be able to build more quarries in the area, so I really don't want to interfere with the space that I plan on using to build with. Gotta go over a couple more tiles. There we go, and all the way down to reconnect. Oh, no, not quite. Only one, one short. Cool. Alright, now I should be able to go straight down to reconnect. People aren't even going to take this road. I'm just building it because it feels like I should have a road there. Here's another trader coming in, which is fine. Alright. Looking good, guys. I'll be able to get this stuff done in no time. Stuff done in no time. Now, one thing I also going to want to do is build some more pastures. Let's do that now. Pastures. I'm going to want one there. And another one there. Perfect. Now, the reason I want these pastures, one of them is to grow more chickens, because chickens are a great source of eggs and chicken meat, which is a nice, easy source of food from only one person. It's not a huge amount of food, but it's, you know, 250 food for one person. That's not bad. Let's see what's in here. Trading cattle. Don't need cattle anymore. We're good. We're kept on our students again, too. That's craziness! We just get so many students so fast. I have no stone left, either. We need to get our minds up, since we've actually built our church again. Very nice. There we go. Got another church going on. These are kind of like separate towns now. Kind of like three separate towns growing up. Instead of just the one. Since a lot of them have their own infrastructure and whatnot too. Alright, well, we can now start working a quarry. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Fifteen is fine. We're going to put fifteen workers in there. And they're going to start producing for us various goods. Namely, just stone but they will produce a lot of it. Funnily enough, there's a stone limit, which is a very strange thing indeed. Don't know why that's limited, but whatever. We'll boost that up now that we actually have our quarry. We're probably going to lose a lot of lives in this thing, but that's just a risk of the job. Not much we can really do about it. Now, I might want to build another quarry so we can get stone even faster, because stone is our major limiting factor right now. So I think we're going to build one. We might not use it yet, but we're going to put another, another quarry down. it lines up with the other one. Get some nice symmetry going on there. Yeah. Whoop. Whoop. Good. Because we're going to need a lot of stone to do anything, and this is the only way to really get stone now if you can't go and gather any off the map. So that will keep our keep us working, and we'll be looking pretty healthy. And once we get more stone, we're going to use to build another schoolhouse, I think, because we need more education. Although this one is going to go back over near our first school over here. I think that's a good spot for these guys. This one, I don't know. These guys are probably pretty close to the middle. So, we're going to make this another chicken's location, put another worker in there, and we're going to split our chicken population into that one. This, this pasture has a very specific purpose. It is not here to be used at the moment. This is an emergency pasture. If we ever get a blight for our... Oh, I'll move the crops around either. That might be bad. If we ever get a blight on our animals, we can move them into the other pasture, and that seems to stop the problem entirely. I'm not entirely sure that's how it's supposed to work, but it seems to, so we're going to take advantage of it by using that little sneaky ability whenever we can. Overall, though, getting our quarries working is immediately our concern. Gotta get that stone production going, otherwise we are not gonna have a whole lot we can do. <laughs> oh, our farming, our, our fisherman's dock is finished. Keep walking the whole way around. Alright, put some more fishermen in as well. We don't have a whole lot of laborers left anymore, but that's fine. Because laborers aren't as important once you can actually get everything you need through other means. We'll reconnect the road over here just so that there is a road. I know they're gonna go this way, but I like to build the roads anyway, so that it looks... it looks nice. That's the main reason I do it. Just that it has that appearance of you know, being used. Alright, well, we're looking pretty good. We're getting our population up. Our goal... my goal really here with this Let's Play is to get up to about 300 population and be stable at 300. If we can do that, I'd say we succeed. We might try and look into other goals if we get there. You guys want to keep seeing more. I'm not sure even if you're interested in seeing this series anymore. At this point, I'm still just recording the episodes because I like doing them. 
Uh, but, you know, we'll, to, we'll see what we do at that point. I think it's interesting that this is the same texture as there, but here it's not dug into the ground yet, whereas it is over here. I also wonder if as these guys use up the, the quarry's capacity, if it'll get deeper. I don't think it will, probably, because it sounds like it's just something they didn't wouldn't have bothered to do, but it sounds like it'd be cool. The thing about quarries, though, is that they have a maximum capacity. You can only get so much out of any one given quarry, and once you've gotten all you can get from it, you're not getting anything else. It's done. You can never remove them either, so they're kind of like a permanent scar on your landscape, which is why I'm putting them so far away from our main, our main areas, which have nice trees and whatnot. Pepper seeds and walnut seeds. I might try and get some pepper seeds from them, but he won't buy anything with our herbs, so that makes it a bit harder. We can't really uh, afford to spare our tools now that we have a... Uh, a quarry running, because we're going to burn through tools way faster than normal. Now we don't have uh, woolen uh, warm coats yet, because we don't have enough wool yet. We still only have six sheep. We have a good number of cows, but still only got six sheep. Huh. I guess we did get them a pretty long distance apart, so it makes sense that these guys would be a little bit ahead. We are getting beef from them now too, which is nice, but uh, still a bit surprising. Anyway, this is not growing very well this year. Oh, man. That's early autumn? That was a terrible harvest. Oh, no. That was a couple, like, 20 and 12% yields? Oh, boy. We're in trouble. That's not a good harvest. Okay, well, we might, we might be in for some serious hurt this year, but we'll see what we can do to not die. That is not good. Alright, well, there's nothing we can do about it now. We're just going to have to see if we can make it through the winter and make it down to the next harvest without dying horribly. Gather as much of that food as you can, though, guys. If you let that go, I'll be super disappointed. Wow, that's something I've never seen before. Shastasia the Gatherer ate some poisonous berries and died. I have never seen that before. Wow. Wow. Well, I guess that's something that can happen. Ooh, they just killed another cow, too. Oh, it died of old age, one of those. Come on, guys, get the food. We need this food. We're not going to get much this year. We're also at maximum health, which is nice. Let's take a look at our overview here. What is our health at? Health is pretty darn high. It's at like 90% health. That's pretty good. Happiness is just about the same level, but for some reason it's only four and a half stars. Education is still pretty good. Okay, I like this. I like this. We'll see if we can make it through the winter, though. We're already burning through our food super fast. This don't look good. No, it don't. 25 members in this church. I guess there's 100 in the other one. 193, yeah. A lot of people in church. Hmm. Well, we might be in trouble here, but we'll see what we can do. We don't actually need another school now, as it looks. Our population of children is kind of stabilized there. Is that a finished quarry? No. Okay. <laughs> For a second there, I thought that quarry was done, and I was like, "What? what's happening here? But no, they haven't actually built it yet. It's still in the earlier stages. Not getting all... Well, that's a pretty good amount of fish. 714 is not bad. It's not as good as these guys, though. I may need to put a, uh, a barn or something closer, because they have to go all the way to the market and then come back every time they want to drop off their fish. Which isn't great. Not great at all. We have a good amount of stone, though. Might start building some more houses. Problem is, if we build more houses, we need to get more food support as well. Which is not the easiest thing to do right now. I wonder what happens if you build more than one trader. Hmm. Where does the trading person go? Do they go to the same place every time? Do they pick one randomly? I don't know. It's a good question. Either way... We've basically got what we need here, I think. We're, we're, we're pretty solid right now. What we need now is to keep building up our homes. I might try and upgrade more homes. I might upgrade these ones. That would be probably a good idea. Because right now, all these homes are still wooden homes, and I'd quite prefer for them to be stone. So let's upgrade these homes right now using this stone. That would be good. We'll do a couple now, and then we'll do some more later. We'll go up to... Why not? Eight builders. Eh, five builders. We don't need that many, because it's going to take them a while to actually start removing all the objects from that building before they can... Uh, start building a new house there anyway, so it doesn't do us much good at this point to rush things. I will, however, designate some trees to be harvested, because why not? Might as well cut down some wood. There's a whole lot over here we can gather, too. 
pretty much all of this area can be safely deforested. It's going to be building things here anyway. There we go. And that should give our laborers stuff to do. Cut down some of these trees. We are getting a little bit lower on trees from our massive uh, advantage previously, so this is probably not a bad thing to do anyway. Oh, we had a person, yeah, one of our stone cutter. We had our first stone cutter death. We have some nomads, oh boy. I don't know if I can accept nomads right now. How many of you are here? 20. Oh, no, I don't know if I can. <laughs> our food is at 290, and it's the spring. I don't think I can accept anymore. Oh, I forgot to change these again. Oh no! Well, hopefully they grow better this year. But yeah, I don't know if I can accept these these nomads. We're we're gonna we're gonna starve to death if we try it. I think. There are a lot of chickens here now, though, which is good. A merchant has arrived. What do you have for us this time, merchant? Coal, leather, wool, warm coats, and hide coats, and you will not trade for herbs. All right. Well, pleasure doing business with you, then, sir. Let's move right along. Okay. I know their food reserve is low. I'm trying to fix that right now. Now, other ways we can get food would be trees, which we don't have any seeds for. We can put more farms in, which would potentially get us more. We might need to expand to a different area to build more farms, though. We might need to build them over here or something like that. Because this space is getting a little bit full. We could try and build more gatherers' huts, but I doubt that's really going to keep up with our massive population boost. And uh, we have added another fishing hut over here, but I'm not sure if that's even really super efficient right now. Yeah, about 800 a year, which is better than the one back at the start, but not as good as these two. Rather as this one is. Hmm. Looks like about 200 food production per citizen is pretty standard for a year's time. This looks like a pretty good harvest. Yes, good. This is what we needed. A nice big harvest. Wonderful. That was exactly what we needed. I like the look of that pattern, too. It's nice. The diagonals are pretty cool. All right. All right. We're looking pretty good. We're actually getting resources here. We're getting our stone built back up again. Getting our wood built back up again, too. I like it. We'll upgrade all these homes. We actually have more stone homes eventually. Then we can maybe build our stone roads like we wanted. That's a pretty demanding task, though. I'm not sure how well that'll work out. Looks like we have just enough food production to not starve before the uh, the harvest comes. Hmm. I want to accept those nomads because that population boost is really nice, but I'm not convinced we can do it safely right now, so I'm not going to. All right. Well, is the other mine finished? Yes, it is. All right. We have two mines working right now. If we really want to, we can double up the number of people working as stone cutters. It might not be a good idea to go right up to 30, but I will go up to 20, which should speed things up nicely. Get us more stone over time much quicker, which will be good. And I think we've started our harvests here, which is also very nice. Harvest, harvest. I know they're about to automatically start harvesting, but I want to make sure they start harvesting now. If they wait a little bit longer, they might lose some of their crops. We don't want that to happen to them, because I need the food, otherwise our citizens are going to be in serious, serious hurt. That's like a maximum harvest, though, which is great. That should seriously help our problems here. Let's see how much our food increases once these guys, once these guys get this harvest in. It's looking pretty good. All right, maybe we could afford those nomads. They might have already left, though. Oh, they're still around. If we do take in more nomads, we're going to need to take them in and then immediately put down some more farms so they can actually work them for us. Because 20 more population is a pretty big boost all of a sudden, and we're having a bit of a hard time. Yeah, even even now, like our our food is taking in at the same rate as it's being used up, which is not cool. Boy, well. This certainly is a pickle we're in, but overall I'd say we're doing pretty good still. Our population is growing, our resources are plentiful, we're actually getting stone and iron in at a pretty decent rate still. Things are looking good. We don't have a whole lot of free laborers anymore because they're all doing other work, but that's still fine. We have a lot of good stuff here. So, I 
guess at this point, what we do is we just uh, we end the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, expanding on Xanadu's wonderful perfection. He says, knowing full well that the city has tons of problems with it. But you know what? That's what this game's all about. So, thank you very much for watching, and look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, bye bye